This is Minister Paula Watchman on the wall, 921-17, p.m. So extended time. In the last video, I said it's high noon, and something is happening. And I've noticed a trend. I'm just going straight into the message. I noticed a trend on the mainstream media is that things that happened yesterday aren't announced until the next day so something did happen and I've received a, an amazing confirmation on it and it, it won't be announced till tomorrow that's all I know to say unless uh, and, and let me say something else I'm going to show you something it's very urgent I ask for your prayers because it's been a pattern of five years on YouTube when I begin to mention uh, certain agencies like NASA Things get weird in my life. And so I ask for your prayers and uh, I boldly stand and wage war in the spiritual realm and pray for you also. But in, in regards to the 12 and 923, I have two things. I'll show you how this all came about and why I'm urgent about this. In the last video I just made today, regarding all hell is about to break loose I was talking about the United Nations and war and Mexico and Donald Trump and consulates I was listening to this back to see if I could glean any more revelation on this because there's a lot of people praying on this and I want to point you out to the 26 minute and 29 second part of this Remember when I said pod 39, there's something to that? My thought was, and I didn't mention it, but I'll mention it now, was pad 39. Right here, where the mouse is circling, it says pod 39. Just, uh, just west of tunnel exit, and just east of 39, East 39th Street in Lexington right here. It says pod 39 in New York. The very first thing I thought of was Pad 39. My dad worked for NASA when Space Shuttle Challenger blew up. It ruined his life. It's 337. I'm getting the Holy Spirit all over me right now. Heavy and hard. I ask you please look. I'm not on here talking just to talk. These are warnings. These are coming to pass. These things are happening. NASA, to, to get to the point, NASA is involved in what's going on with the, the, the disasters that are occurring right now in, in America. They are involved. And that's why my spirit quickened when I saw Pod 39 as in Pad 39. It's in Florida. It launches space shuttles. And, and, they, and there's an A and a B. And now they, they have been allowing this launch of something called the X-37. It's top secret. For time's sake, just Google X-37. It's some type of secret thing they're launching here out of Florida. And that's the warning on this, is that NASA is involved in weather manipulation and so much more. And God warned us back in 2012. I'll show you. Another thing I want to mention real quick is in regards to the United Nations in that video. Kim Jong-un in North Korea just came out and made a major statement showing up in person, very rare, very serious, attacking Trump and America in person. And now this breaking right now is North Korea's foreign ministers of the United Nations speech has been postponed till Saturday. Everybody see this? And what's Saturday? It's 9.23. You cannot make this stuff up. That these warnings and these signs. So, so all of a sudden they're going to make this speech at the United Nations on a Saturday. Revolving North Korea. When I'll, I'll show you the script in here. Where. Uh, Syria, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Here we go. This is live in real time, saints. Remember I mentioned Syria? Put a hashtag to it. Breaking. 
Explosion in Damascus sky, possible air engagement. Reports that a second land-to-air missile launched by Syrian aid defenses just moments ago towards the border. This is called all hell breaking loose. I want to take this... Uh, makes me wonder if a bracketing Guam shot is coming up between the speech and today's action. I believe this is seven minutes ago. It's related to that Kim Jong-un. I'm going to relax because my gut says just stop and upload this, but there's more important things. We're in it. Okay, here's the speech. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un delivers unusual address in person to respond to Trump's speech at the UN. And there he is. And then there's a transcript of it blown up and you can read it. Basically, uh, a propagation. Donald Trump had said, we will completely destroy North Korea. And now he said, well, then he, he said Trump is insane and, he, and that we will do likewise. I think I'm going to have to do two videos. Here's the statement. I don't know how you can get a link on this, but he makes this statement. The foreign minister, minister for United Nations in North Korea cancels until Saturday on 9-23. All hell is about to break loose. Remember, uh, just another thing. Remember when I talked about Obama making a speech and how things that happened yesterday aren't reported till today? I said, prepare, I mean, two videos or three, prepare for Obama's speech. He made it yesterday. One of many that will come this fall. This has today's date, actually. But the date was yesterday. Obama f refers to himself 96 times during short speech to Gates Group. And, and here he is. He says, the former president referred to himself 42 times 42, as in 42 months, during his 18-minute remarks. He's with Bill and Melinda Gates Foundations, and the title is called Goalkeepers. Let me ask you, what, there he is, back on the scene again, with Bill Gates. I want you to think about Agenda 21 and viruses and these... these shots, these immunization shots and these things. These people know they are running out of time. They see the same signs and read the same things we are. And they are implementing their plan and increasing it exponentially and rapidly. Obama was so focused on himself, he couldn't help but quote himself. And again, he said the, yes, we can. Yes, we can. I'll, I'll just put a link to this. Everything happened so fast. I think I'm just going to make one video rather than two. Uh, I just ask you to pray for me. I'm just going to let this video speak for itself. Remember I talked about the confirmation of high noon and 12? The Holy Spirit of God himself led me to this video after re-watching the All Hell is About Ready to Break Loose video. And it's from 12, 12, 13. And it's a thumbnail of a boat sitting on the 45 that leads to Galveston, where Harvey devastated. I can't tell you how loud the Holy Spirit is screaming to me right now that we need to get on our knees and pray. Today I ran into the room and got on my face. Man, we got to pray. I'm going to let this play out and uh, just verbatim as is the whole seven minutes. And I want you to take note and listen and warn others. Warn others. Because this came to pass. And what I say in this prophetically is that these things will happen some will happen before the rapture and some will happen after because we don't i'll just play god is not going to tell anybody 
the exact date of the rapture. But I'm showing you things that from five years ago, actually four years ago on this one, 12-12, being confirmed that have happened right down to the exact city in the sign, in the boat. This was Harvey, and this has happened. Now listen. This is Minister Paul in Northern California. It's 11 a.m. on 12-12-13. I have a very serious word of major destruction coming to our land in multiple areas. These facts are known by NASA in the Pentagon and are being kept from us. And Jesus Christ in Matthew 24, he's... That's why I went back to the NASA part. Because NASA was a part of this warning for the area of Galveston and Houston, Texas. With this boat on the thing, NASA was a part of this warning. I'm going to go back. I didn't mean to interrupt. It's urgent. And are being kept from us. And Jesus Christ in Matthew 24, he said, Take heed that no man deceive you. The powers that be are aware of what is coming. Jesus. And they're going to prevent us from knowing the details of these events. <clears throat> I've been sensing this for two days now. So here on Thursday, again, my channel name in case this video is shared, because this is very, very serious, is Living in Grace W O T W, the number two. Living in Grace. W-O-T-W, the number two. It stands for Watcher, W-O-T-W, Watcher on the Wall. I've been putting these forth for a couple years now, and it seems like the watchmen and women that speak forward these uh, early warnings for God, because He loves the people and wants that none should perish, have come under attack, being accused of spreading fear or not hearing from God. But when I walk into my bedroom last night at, at exactly midnight, and I look through my sliding glass door to the north, I saw a bright flash, unlike anything I've never seen before, flash from the west and to the east. And it got brighter and brighter in the east. It lit up our whole bedroom. And within, I laid in bed within a couple minutes as I was praying for the Lord. He said, let that be for a sign. Mm. As I was praying to the Lord, a very loud and low military helicopter began flowing, uh, flying over our house, rumbling. Our whole upper ceiling was shaking above me, and I realized how close we were. So when I woke up this morning, the first thing that I did was I went to the Lord. I was reading this story that ESPN has rejected an ad to run Saturday uh, because it mentions the name Jesus. Saturday. Said that word is problematic. Did you hear that? Saturday? I'm telling you, I'm trembling. I'm trembling with joy. I'm trembling with joy. This is happening right now. Because this Saturday is 23rd. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm just a messenger. So I asked the Lord what it is he would have me to say, and he said, you tell my people that the end of all things is at hand, that the clock ticks down, and you're running out of time to repent and turn to him. There is no other name by which you should be saved except for Jesus Christ, who was and is and is coming again. It was given unto him a name. There's no other name but Jesus. I'm just feeling it right now. When I said that, the timer said 333. So I said, Lord, what it is that you would like me to tell your people? He said, do not be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Do not be concerned with what others think. Do not live to please the men and women, but live to please me.
Be a God pleaser, not a man pleaser, and do your job. Finish your call and the mandate therein. So, what he said is major destruction in multiple areas is going to hit this world. And the people are not prepared. He said to tell them to be prepared physically, naturally, and spiritually. Because not everyone's going to make it. What's coming upon this land as our Savior comes to those who... Uh, he counts worthy to escape everything. He is coming and then these events are going to happen. But some of these events are going to happen before the return of Jesus Christ. And God cannot lie. So I said, Lord, please show me in your word. So that I can share it with the people. So go to, I'll put a link, Ezekiel 12. Starting at verse 17, it says, Judgment will not be postponed. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, eat your bread with quaking, and drink your water with trembling and anxiety. And say to the people of the land, Thus says the Lord God to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and to the land of Israel, They shall eat their bread with anxiety and drink their water with dread so that her land may be emptied of all who are in it because of the violence of all those who dwell in it. A great, mighty violence is going to come upon this land. Violent earthquakes, violent acts of men of evil, full of hatred, that have rebelled against God. It says, The land shall become desolate, and you shall know that I am the Lord. 21, And the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, what is this proverb that you people have about the land of Israel which says, quote, The days are prolonged and every vision fails. Tell them, therefore, thus says the Lord God, I will lay this proverb to rest, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. But say to them, The days are at hand in the fulfillment of every vision. For no more shall there be any false vision or flattering divination within the house of Israel. For I am the Lord, I speak, and the word which I speak will come to pass. It will no more be postponed, for in your days, O rebellious house, I will say the word and perform it, says the Lord God. I'm going to, judgment will no longer be postponed. Please repent, 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 repent. Repent, repent, turn to Jesus now. He is the only way out of what is coming upon this land. He is the righteous judge. He will judge you. The Spirit and the bride say, Come. The Spirit and the bride say, Come. Yes. The Spirit and the bride say, Come. Yes, Jesus, come, Lord Jesus. Repent, come, Lord Jesus. The Spirit and the bride say, Come. Yes, Jesus. Repent. Hallelujah! Repent, repent, yes, repent, Jesus. Repent. Have I not told you before? Have you not heard my voice? Have I told you that I cannot lie? Repent, repent, repent. My goodness sakes. Man, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Y'all don't understand. I began to see this message at 3.33. And, uh, and decided I needed to upload this. That that message is from 12, 12, 13. And half of it has came to pass already. And the rest is talking about Jesus returning in Israel. And I also, so that was the 333 that I mentioned on there. And also another confirmation was when I saw that light flash in my bedroom that led me to make this uh, word from God here, flash it from the east to the west God told me and I said it on here he said let it be for a sign I'm looking at my cell phone right now on Sunday September 17th I texted a friend of mine who operates in the prophetic who's uh, spoken on my videos before named Adrian in Atlanta Georgia and this is what I texted him 1 Samuel 10 Verse 1 through 7. That's all I texted him. And he said, thanks. Why, why that one? 
at 11.48 a.m. And I said, it just came to me this morning. I heard, let it be for a sign. I just texted that last weekend. Please, this is urgent. Please share this. I don't know when I'll see you again, to be honest with you. This is a powerful warning message. All I ask you to do is just please share this. Share it.